Well, you forgot to level your bed and the nozzle got a little too close to it. And now your print was stuck and germ removal, you took a chunk out of your PEI. In today's video, I'll show you how to easily replace the PEI on a spring steel flex plate. So for anyone that has ever tried to remove a PEI sticker before, the adhesive used is quite robust. So today we're gonna to be trying something new. Now for this, we'll need a dishwasher detergent pod. This is from Kirkland. And we're going to be submerging the whole flex plate in some water and adding a dishwasher detergent pod. Now please be aware this method doesn't work with anything that could be harmed by submerging in water, such as a PCB bed. Now, there are other methods that can be used to remove the PEI itself. Commonly, people will put the bed in a freezer or heat to temperature and peel back the PEI. However, this method also works on removing the adhesive easier than other methods I have tried in the past. Now, after about a three hour soak in the detergent bath, I removed the flex plate and removed the PEI film. Now the adhesive is still attached to the flex plate. However, you do want to remove the PEI film so that the detergent can work to break down the adhesive easier. We simply reinsert the spring steel back into the bath and let it soak overnight. After the overnight soak, using a putty knife or X-Acto blade, you can scrape off the remaining adhesive. I found that this was a easier removal of the adhesive than traditional methods such as using Goo Gone, isopropyl alcohol, or acetone as the adhesive film removed cleanly and didn't leave any residue. Now at this point what I do like to do is scuff up the flex plate before reapplying the PEI. By scuffing it up slightly, and I'm just using a scotch Brite pad here, I find that the new PEI sticker adheres better to the flex plate than if it was clean and shiny. Now, for applying the sticker, you will need an X-Acto knife, a PEI sticker slightly larger than your bed, and you are going to want to be wearing gloves at this point to prevent oils from your skin from getting on the bed and ruining the sticker. Before applying, give the bed one last wipe down with isopropyl alcohol or any degreaser. You want it to be as clean as possible. I normally keep a light fan on in the background. This prevents any dust from settling on the flex plate while applying the sticker. Now for applying the sticker, you're going to start by removing the backing of the adhesive in one corner and then peeling back approximately half to an inch of the backing along one side, and this will be your starting point. So begin by lining up the PI sticker, pressing down in the middle and working towards the edge, trying not to trap any air bubbles and starting out with a clean, even line so that when you apply the sticker, everything lines up perfectly. This is where having an oversized sticker comes in handy as it does give you some wiggle room if things don't line up properly. Now, while you can use a plastic putty knife, for example, to help lay down the sticker, I couldn't find mine. And I wanted to show that even just going using your hands, you can apply the sticker as long as you work from the inside out and work slowly and diligently to prevent bubbles. Slowly peeling back the protective backing as you lay the sticker out also helps with preventing contamination and bubbles. Just ensure that it doesn't slide off at the very end, trapping a bubble. This happens quite often, I see. After the PEI sticker is applied, you can go ahead and trim off any excess PEI overhanging the flex plate using an X-Acto knife. and then go through and ensure that you have no bubbles. Now, if you do have any large bubbles by accident, you can pop them using a pin or just the tip of your X-Acto knife. If you do have extremely small bubbles at this point, I wouldn't worry too much. Those tend to work themselves out 
over a couple heat cycles or a couple days. After the sticker is applied, you are going to want to put some weight on it. So in this case, I use a old power supply, but you're going to want something about the size of your bed and rigid to evenly space the weight out. The more weight, the better. This will help the sticker affix to the PEI more securely. And after again, letting it sit for a couple hours, overnight, a day, we are now done. As you can see, the sticker was applied properly, has no bubbles, and is ready to put back on the printer. I hope this video has been informative. If you do have any questions, please ask them in the comments below. And if you did like the video, please hit that like button. If you would like to see more content such as this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I do do printer builds and QA live streams every weekend. And follow me on my Twitter at 3DP Nero. I'm constantly posting pictures and updates about current and ongoing projects. Thank you and have a great day.